Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Lucinda Joseph. Dato Sri Anwar Ibrahim has left the Turkish embassy, accompanied by his wife, Datin Sri Wan Aziza, at 6.45 p.m. More updates on that story will be online soon. Opposition leader Datin Sri Wan, uh, Dr. Wan Aziza, Ismail wants a personal guarantee from the Prime Minister over her husband's security for the later to leave the Turkish embassy. She said if Premier Dato Sri Abdullah Ahmad Badawi were to give his word guaranteeing her husband's potential safety, she would take it. Dr. Wan Aziza also demanded that an independent body be set up to probe the latest allegations of sodomy against Dr. Sri Anwar Ibrahim as the credibility of the police force had been tainted following former Inspector General of Police assault on him back in 1998. Uh, kalau kita mengenai yang telah berlaku pada 98. Kita mahukan jaminan bukan saja pada Menteri Dalam Negeri tetapi Perdana Menteri juga. Kalau beri jaminan itu memang kita akan dapat tetapi jaminan ini mestilah bersungguh-sungguh. She told reporters in a press conference in the parliament lobby Monday. Deputy Prime Minister Datuk Sri Najib Tun Razak has denied any involvement in the sodomy allegation against Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim. Saya tak terlibat dalam kes ni sama sekali. Pegawai yang uh, jumpa dengan pegawai saya, gambar tu diambil tiga bulan yang lalu. Dan uh, gambar tu adalah gambar yang uh, sebab dia datang untuk mendapat biasiswa. He was asked to comment on Parti Keadilan Rakyat President Datin Sri Wan Aziza Wan Ismail's releasing a picture of his special officer, Khairul Anas Yusuf, with the accuser, Muhammad Saiful Bakri Aslan, implying that he was behind the conspiracy against Anwar. Muhammad Saiful, who was a student leader and Anwar's special assistant during March general election, lodged a police report alleging that he was sodomized by Anwar last Thursday. Earlier this morning, Patika Adilan Rakyat PKR advisor Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim has filed a suit against his former aide for allegedly lodging a malicious and false report against him and defaming him. Anwar has named Muhammad Saiful Bukhari Aslan as a defendant in his suit, filed at Kuala Lumpur High Court Registry at 10.30 a.m. on Monday. Anwar contended that the defendant had acted maliciously and lodged the police report with an ulterior and collateral purpose to harm him and destroy him politically. Speaking to reporters, his lawyer, R. Simarasa, who is also PKR vice president, said they will be filing a statement of claim for the suit within a week. For more updates, log on to the staronline.tv. I'm Lucinda Joseph. Thanks for watching.